Hi, I'm Luke Seervelt. Welcome to another episode of Meet the Gaffer. Today, I just wanted to show you another simple setup we've got for uh, interviews. We're doing interviews and B-roll for a couple days. We're here uh, in a sort of a larger um, room where we've got uh, some depth for our, uh, our setups. And we've got a book light working here. It's a M18 into an eight by eight ultra bounce. And that's coming, uh, so the M18 is hitting into that. And then it's coming back through a half grid and a full grid. Uh, and uh, just nice and soft. And then um, we're taking out some of the little points of light that are above me with uh, solids. And then in the far background, just to bring up the background, uh, there's a room back there, a couple layers back. Um, we've got a Joe Lico pounding into the floor into an ultra bounce floppy, and then it's angled so that it's hitting the wall there. Um, so yeah, just real simple, two lights, hey, and then all the ambient that's around. Anyway, that's what we've got going here. Okay, so just to diagram this out a little bit, let's see, we've got our uh, interviewee here, and we've got our camera here. Then we've got our interviewer there, and let's say that's their nose, and we've got an eye and an eye, and um, you know if they're looking off camera this way, then we want to just get the light to reach that second eye a little bit, not too frontal to be too flat, you know, like it was fashion photography, but a little off to the side, not too sidey, else it looks a little, um, you know, sinister. Uh, so we bring that diffusion you know, pretty uh, close there. And then, you know, often you'd bring a light straight through, but in this case, we were creating a book light. So um, we had a, a eight by eight ultra bounce here. And then we put our M18 on a turtle stand, just on the ground, aiming up into this. And so that's then bouncing through, coming or bouncing into this, and then coming through the diffusion. And that's an eight by, we had, um, uh, full grid and then we also added another layer of half grid uh, just make it nice and soft and um, you know uh, that pleasing uh, look onto the face and then you know we had some of those uh, lights from above and um, we blocked those out with uh, small cutters then we also did a top chop on um, on the key here so without um, changing the light that's falling on the face uh, just blocking some of the light that's above that's uh, landing on the wall that was uh, you know on the fill side just so that we took the the light down a little bit on here so not too much fill and um, and then we had the Joe Lico you know uh, far away in in the back so uh, that's just sort of the the general um, schematic of that lighting setup thanks for watching we'll see you again next time